My tío is a dormant volcano. Lies on a gurney in an upstairs hallway, his oxygen tank chained to a wall. A woman in starched white squeezes a balloon-shaped pump, her grip life support. Theo's chest rises when she forces air with her gloved hand. I lean close, clean his crusted lids, whisper to him, climb to the top of Isalco when you're better. The nurse releases the pump long enough to prove he will survive this. Tienen que tener fe, she says. Her hand closes into a fist, his lungs exhale, and the wheeze burrows into our ears. After he dies, my father and I prepare the altar. We cut two liter soda bottles collected from villagers to make vases for the wake. I decorate with aluminum foil the ones my father has already sliced. On the other side of this wall lies my Theo's body. Mosquitoes circle above us in fluorescent light. Spiders spin webs, their strands glow like apparitions. I wonder if Theo's spirit lingers here, reluctant to leave. My father arranges flowers, and I know he has done this before. A year ago, un altar para su sobrina. Two years ago, un altar para su madre. We pray until morning, a rosary around our fingers. This the last time Theo will sleep here. At the cemetery, we wait together, and it will be here that we capture a family photo our bodies melting together on this unmarked grave. It is hard to see where each of us begins, and I wonder if we've ever said I love you like this. The smell of dust rises into our teeth, and we are captured. Our contorted jaws, our attempt to consume this moment, in the background, burial monuments bloom. We shift our wrists and wave our fingers to brush off winter flies that clean. The grave digger will seal the burial chamber, set each layer of brick slowly, and under the heat of the sun, our faces will reflect off the top of my Dios casket. They will throw back the light.